I built the test machine, the world's first 3000 test machine for running level zero unsigned code. Now, why is this a dev kit when it's a retail console? Like, how does this, how is this a homemade dev kit? But it's a dev kit because it was designed and made specifically for bad WDSD. So for instance, the E3 flasher, the E3 flasher specifically is hardwired directly to the Nora flash chip on this console. If I ever brick this console, Right here is an SD card that contains my backup. So whenever this thing bricks, I can literally turn it off, flip some switches, hit start, and it will literally rewrite the Norflash backup to the console. So if it ever bricks, I can unbrick it just like that. Well, it usually takes like eight minutes. Maybe I guess it's not a dev kit. Maybe it's a test kit. I don't know. But it's basically a test machine. I built the test machine, the world's first 3000 test machine for running level zero unsigned code. So why did I build it? I was 16, I had a 3000 model PS3 and I could not install custom firmware for the life of me. And it's actually what got me into the PS3 modding scene as a whole. I decided I wanted to do this for my 16 year old self that did not have custom firmware on the 3000 model PS3, as well as help further on the scene, because it's like, if we can find the two RAM XDR points on the 3000 model, and it's likely gonna mirror the 2500 models that can't run custom firmware,